happy Friday everybody. It's April 28th and it's 12 o'clock right now, 12 or 2 to be exact. And obviously I'm in my car because um, I am heading to take my certification exam. I, um, I'm just gonna pop the, just give me a second, I'm just popping the directions into my Google Maps. So I have it, I have this listed as, can you see? The next big day, biggest, yeah, the next big day of my life. I hope you can see it um, because today is one of the next big days of my life. So it's not the biggest day. The biggest day in my life was me being born. But today's a very, very important day. I've been, you know, planning for this day or preparing for this day for a very long time and today is the day that will determine everything so how do I feel I feel okay a while ago at my church we did a lesson um, called Faith, Fact, and Feeling. So it just basically, it was a Sunday school lesson that basically described the differences between what your faith is, what the facts are, and what your feelings are. So, so it basically was saying that your feelings fluctuate. Like feelings are just that, they're emotions, sorry. I have popcorn. Um, they're emotions, and emotions are very um, temporary, you know? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, sometimes you're like everything. But, as believers, we have to know what the facts are, and we have to know what our faith is. So, I, right now, how do I feel? I feel okay. I'm not gonna say I feel 100% confident because it's a test. And tests in life, I mean, just period, in, in, in general, like tests are not things that you are 100% prepared for unless you got the cheat answers, <laughs> you got the cheat code, and um, that's that. However, however, as a believer, the fact is that I serve a mighty God. And my faith right now has to be anchored and strong enough to overpower all my feelings of uncertainty, of me being unprepared, me being nervous. Like my faith should be way bigger. And it is. Yeah. You're doing our wrong signals. Whatever. Anyway, I'll call you when I'm close. Yeah. All right. So I didn't pass. But it's okay. God still gets the glory anyway, so. I gotta take some continuing education stuff. And, um, can you see me? And I'll um, reschedule afterwards. I'll reschedule, so. <sighs> Journey to be the NP. Salad, extra large coffee, water study material let's get it
2017, obviously, and I'm going to take my certification exam for the second time. So I'm feeling okay, more confident, um, just trying to stay in tune with myself. So please excuse me if I'm not like, all over the place. So um, it's about 12.40 right now. My test is at one. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys, hopefully by four o'clock, I think I have, up until four o'clock to take this test. So wish me luck. such a feeling of relief like weights are lifted off my shoulders I feel so so light and so happy and so blessed I really I, I, last night I thought about why I didn't pass the first time and of course the first time I was a little devastated I was a little sad because I was like oh I got this on the first try not overly confident overly cocky but I was like come on it's 200 it's 100 and something questions how bad could it really be I, I I studied as much as I could I mean you guys have seen in the past vlogs I'm in the library all day every day studying very devoted very focused but the thing is I realized the last time I was not 100% confident that God would bring me through. I had doubts in my mind. I would, When people would ask me if I'm ready, I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know, kind of, yeah, I think, if whatever. But when you're not 100% confident, if you don't believe, that's the problem. That's the problem right there because they sent me the paper after I didn't pass and they told me that like I was only a few points away from passing. So it's not as though I was, you know, failing miserably is because I started to second guess myself I started to start mixing up answers like I will mark questions and go back and change them and I knew it's because I wasn't confident I wasn't confident I was I was letting the idea of doubt you know really infiltrate my mind and that's the, this time I said you know what do what you need to do go back study go hard of course but you need to believe a hundred percent so i just want to thank you guys if you pray for me if you believed in me if you just watch my vlogs whatever but whatever the case is i just think oh my god i'm so happy i thank everybody who prayed for me everybody who had um faith that i would make it through that i would pass and like i'm out here now i'm so excited guys so i don't know I'm gonna go outside and tell my mom. I'm not gonna record it because she and I mm -mm, together emotionally, too much to handle. So I will see you guys in the next vlog, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.